Welcome back to Pyongyang, North Korea, on the pristine Kim Jong-il Memorial Golf Course, as we continue first-hand historic coverage of the inaugural Dictator Masters. With me is international reporter Jonathan Rundle. What are your thoughts so far? Cody, the real story here has been the leaderboard. Yeah, everyone tied for first. It's been one hole in one after another. Certainly remarkable in the game of golf to have this many perfect games at once. And one of the dictators, a note we're going to focus in on right now on the 12th hole. Yes, it's Bashir al-Assad, the Syrian leader, taking a break from the conflict to try his hand at winning the green flak jacket. And uh, quite surprisingly, a couple of boobirds in the crown. You don't expect that at such an event as this. A bold move, yes, in this uh, very controlled environment here in North Korea. That probably won't go over too well with the organizers of this tournament. Oh, and predictably, I hear the chopper coming. Well, we certainly hadn't anticipated seeing the chopper this early, but here it comes. And here comes the poisonous gas. And there you have it. Now the side ready to take a swing. And it is a shank off to the right, but the scorekeepers are calling it another hole in one. And it's another perfect hole for Bashir al-Assad of Syria as he remains tied for top place on the leaderboard. Tied with a lot of really despicable human beings. All right. Coming up more from the 2013 Dictator Masters here in North Korea.